I don't think she's gonna make it out of electrician. She's cleaning up. Oh. So it's the one who started. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's no proof. Welcome back to the demonstration wall. Today we have our lovely guest, Plumber Paige, and today I'm going to show her how to do some electrical. So just some of the basics, uh, taking power from a power source, uh, hooking up a receptacle, a light switch, and wiring a light, and then turning it, it. Turn it all on. And we're just going to start from the beginning. No boxes. We're just going to throw the boxes up, throw the wire up, strip the wire, Make up the devices. So, you ready for the challenge? Not challenge. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. I have to do it all. So now that you got that done, <laughs> also have you stick the rest of this wire in the bottom and then we'll hook that up to the power later. So I just stick that in the bottom or even the top. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and have you staple these. These aren't the best staples. These are like Home Depot cheap staples. Staple these two together. Oh. So you can do two wires under one staple. Oops. And then you want it flat. In the center? Yeah, in the center. Right. Leave a little wiggle room so that's perfect. And then you'll do one more staple right there. I'm going to trust you with this razor to not cut ourselves. So, I still have more for one. <laughs> insert clip here. On page stuck her finger inside the blade, inside the hole with the blade, and she cut herself. It's deep, but I'm not opening it for y'all. I don't want to. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and just strip this wire. You can put it right down the middle. Take the razor blade, put it right down the middle, and that'll be on the ground wire. And then, um, yeah, just go to the end. Don't put your hand behind it. Yeah. And then once you get up to the top, you can just like score it again sideways on the front and the back. Just or, yeah, it's just like that too. Okay, nice. And then you can remove the paper from the ground. Yeah, nice. This is like not sharp. Yeah, it's probably old. All right, so the next thing, yeah, do the same thing. Just strip these wires out down the middle, remove the sheathing, and then remove the paper off all four of those. Boom. All right, so next, um, we're gonna need a couple pigtails eventually. But then, you know, how do you cut these, like, the same length? And then strip the ends of these, and strip the ends of these. Um, so you're ready for the next step, which will be the devices. Nice. Bring the 
gauge thread. 14 gauge solid wire. Oh, what? So one side So oh, solid. Yeah. I never knew that. See, I'm learning something. Oh, okay. Now we got all that stripped out. You can go ahead and cut a couple pieces off. Just say, cut like uh, that much. And then cut another one. Okay. And now you're going to take the wires out of here. So you can just grab the end of it with the strippers and then what? pull out. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other one. You can take all the papers off. Next, I got some wire nuts here. So you can start, this one is just gonna be a light, so you don't have to do anything with that. It's just one, one set of wires for one light. For the light, for the light switch and for the receptacle, you're gonna take your ground wire and then you're gonna tie all three of those together. And then use the wire nut. Do you twist it first or do you just put the wire I first twist it out. That's more of a East Coast thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, there are some people that probably pre-twist here, but for the most part, most of us on the West Coast don't. Yeah, and then just do like a full test on that to make sure. Yeah, okay. And then repeat that down here for the receptacle. If you remember how we did it in Pennsylvania, the current set was a lot more harder than these sandwiches. I don't remember. Insert foot. Which way? This way? Yeah. I don't know why the last couple just like broke off. This? Yeah? Yeah, maybe just once. Once? That's it? Yeah, I don't want to like keep breaking these. Okay. So now that we got that done, yeah, you can strip those out. For these, these white ones go together. These don't do anything. These don't need a pigtail on that. They don't need a, actually you might even need a pigtail for that, but probably do one on this, just to make it easier. So just one black wire, one black pigtail and one white pigtail. So you can, yeah, pick down these what, two white ones together and then the two black ones together with the black wire. You don't even really need to do that. I don't know. Because it's like a magic card thing. You can either pigtail or you can strip it out more and curl it all if you want to if you want to just screw everything together on the receptacle. What do you do? I prefer to do it with the pigtails, but it really just depends on what the employer wants. We're the employers. <laughs> it's just more of a, like a solid connection. So like, if something ever goes wrong, you know it's the device that has the problem with and not the connections. Okay. Because if you, if you just put everything together on the receptacle, if this receptacle fails, everything else down the line is gonna have a problem. Like it's not gonna work. If this receptacle dies, then everything because else. Because the power is reliant on that. Yeah, it's, go, it's going through the device rather than through the wires. That makes sense. So if you had multiple receptacles, this device dies, the rest of them aren't going to work. And then you have to, it's easy to troubleshoot, but like sometimes it can be really difficult depending on the circuitry, finding where the problem is, and then just waste hours and hours. If you just do it this way, then it's like, just oh, that. it's just the device you're done. It's like five minutes, 10 minutes. All right. All right, and then just tie these white wires together right here. For the switch, you don't use those. Yeah. Okay, now go ahead and take the receptacle. 
and you probably will have to curl these strippies a little bit longer. And then... Longer? Yeah. If it was a, a different device, you could just put it in the back and tighten the screw. This is like a really cheap one from Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, this is the screw down kind with no flaps on the sides. Do you use this to do it? Yeah, to curl it. Nice. Yeah, and then shift that one a little bit more and then curl that one. All right, so next I'll give you the receptacle and then you just hook, you usually start with the ground, it doesn't really matter, but if it was live or something, it would be safer. Always start with the ground. Do you do this live? Uh, no. Okay. Well, there's been a few times where I'm not supposed to be. might attempt to. Oh. But no, usually the idea is never to do it in the wild. White goes to silver, yeah. black goes to brass. So you want it to be going clockwise, yeah. So when you tighten it, it gets tighter. Same with it instead of just pushing back? Yeah. Good question, good question. No. <laughs> yeah, what kind of teacher are you? I'm off my game. But I haven't worked for too long on these roads. Uh, yeah, I haven't been working for a couple weeks. <laughs> I actually haven't like wired a device in probably like, I mean, maybe a couple times in the last year, but it's been like a year since I've like, <laughs> okay. I really put anything together. Okay. Okay, now I'll give you the light switch. And there is a proper way to do this. They usually say like up or down. Um, but you can also tell the easiest way is if, it, if you can read it. If it says off. It's down. You're going right. Oh, you're going yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. If it says no, you're doing it wrong. So right. the ground will go up once you when you screw it to the box. The ground will go up. Always. Um, no, there's some grounds that are on the bottom. So you just gotta read. Yeah, you just gotta read it oh, or no. or look for the symbol on the switch. So I don't think this one says it, but usually it'll say like up or. I mean, this says words to switch. Yeah, but if it's like a three-way switch. Doesn't really matter. Does it matter which way? They're connected somewhere? No. Um, for those, it doesn't matter, but just make sure they're going clockwise. Oh, I figured it out. Another one. Okay, and then for this, you'll just fold the ground wire into the back of the box. Silver, black to brass are. I caught myself, but probably not. You know the deal. To you. To no. I feel like we need a close up on this. How great. Probably should have brought the camera over here the whole time, but anyways, it's too late now. Come a little bit closer, baby. Look at this amazing wiring. Baba. <laughs> and a mess. <laughs> Alright, so now you can fold these wires up and then put this on the screws. Okay. I really dislike holding the wires into the box. It's my least favorite part. wires up and then I'll give you the drill and you can tighten that down to the box. Okay and then 
same thing, just fold all those down and screw that in. And for this one, just make sure the background wire doesn't touch those screws. So. Why not? I'm just, I'm just saying it wasn't, but if, you, if it does, then there's a problem. It'll not work for it because it's not touching the hot side. Awesome. We don't want that. Strip the end of this out and then we'll hook it up. You know, we really need like a couple inches. I don't have anything to hook this up like an extension cord or anything, so I'm just gonna go old school. Just shove it in there. That doesn't seem safe. It's completely fine. I'll have you do it, so safe. Alright, so I'll have you shove this in. I have this set up on a light switch, so uh, that's on and that's off, so you can just shove it the... Bro, what? To DZ. Are you serious? Yeah, so take the neutral one, the white wire, and shove it in the left. Are you so serious right now? I'm so serious. Ooh. Perfect, and then that right one. I would not advise homeowners to do this. Oh no, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Alright, that you don't okay fine. Alright. So I have the switch off and I'll have you hit the light switch. I don't like that. Alright. And now this is on. I'll have you plug this into the plug. The plug tensor plugged into the plug. Alright, so that works. It's saying it's correct. And then you can test the bottom this one. That one's actually not going to work because uh, I disconnected the tab because oh. I was using that for a half hop. So but then, we should have done this sooner. And then you can hit the light switch and actually turn the light on. Hey. And Let's go! Yeah, so that's just a little basic. So this is just bringing your power in from the power source. You're sharing the power to the light switch. And then the light switch. And this is the switch light going up to the light. Turn on the light. So, anyways, <laughs> hopefully this was fun or educational. I'm sure. I guess you, I guess you already knew all this, but that was before I knew that. So, anyways, here we are. <laughs> Just a little refresher. Yeah, for you. <laughs> yeah, for me. That's exactly what this was for. And then yeah, that'll kill the power. There's no power here now. Pull that out. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you finished and enjoyed the Yeah. Hopefully you learned something. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe go watch his other videos if you actually want to learn. <laughs> it's never too late to learn something. So anyways, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. And that'll be it. Bye. Peace. This is the intro. Sure about that? <laughs> Tell her what's wrong. <laughs>